Texas is not backing down in its fight with the Biden administration over border security. The state is still in a legal battle over its use of razor wire along the border. Meanwhile, lawmakers in Washington are still working on a new immigration policy. Rebecca Castro reports. And one of the strongest acts of defiance for a modern day governor, Greg Abbott has declared the border crisis an invasion and invoked Texas's constitutional right to self-defense. The authors of the Constitution knew there would be times when the federal government would not live up to its duty. Texas has a right as a state to stop criminals from coming into our state. Losing trust in Biden's border agents, the Texas National Guard has taken over control of one area of the border popular for illegal crossings. There's also been debate about the use of razor wire to stop migrants, with the Supreme Court giving approval Monday for the Biden admin to start cutting the wire. It's not making people's lives safer. It's actually making it harder for law enforcement at the, at the border to do their job. Despite the legal blow, Abbott says Texas will hold the line. While in Washington, lawmakers continue to hash out an immigration reform package. We have the outlines of a deal. We've had it for several days. It's 90 plus percent written. But will passing it rely on approval from former President Donald Trump? As insiders suggest, some Republicans don't want to lose their top issue during election season. I don't agree on that, and the reason I don't agree on that is, one, we have a constitutional responsibility to be able to protect the country and its safety. The things that are in this bill, Donald Trump would actually want to be able to have as president on this. Right now, further emergency aid for Ukraine is contingent on new border policy being passed. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.